Welcome to another day of uh, Secret Garden Step by Step. I have no idea uh, which day it is, day 37 or something. I, I don't know. Uh, a lot of days, that is for sure. And um, today I'm going to, uh, first of all, add color to some leaves that look a little bit pale, like the ones uh, here, this and this one and this one. And I'm also, I hope I will be able to make decisions about things that have no color at all yet, like for example over here, these flowers. I really want some flowers to uh, to be white or at least very light colored but this is not what I intend so I have to do something about it, it, it this I'm going to start with these uh, leaves and I'm going to use a Tombow Erogeton pencil asparagus it is in I would call it mint green it is a light cold green and I'm now looking at the other pencils that I have if I have a pencil that looks similar to it but actually I don't have that look this is the luminance pencil made spring green I believe yeah spring green that's not it so this is quite a unique color. Maybe there is one in the um, in the Prismacolor series. Here are two Prismacolors, but they look different as well. They are uh, true green and uh, light green, but as you can see, the Erogenton color is quite unique quite unique asparagus that is why I bought a set because they have unique colors but these pencils are pretty hard so it takes uh, pressure to get the color out We are uh, having a beautiful December day in the Netherlands. It is cold. It was very cold. Not very cold, but pretty cold this uh, last night. A lot of frost. And I think in the north of the Netherlands, people will be able to uh, do some ice skating. On the ponds and uh, on the canals well that is to say if the wa water isn't too deep the deeper the water the longer it takes before it is um, frozen opal green also by erogeton It's just a touch of color. You may well... It may not appear on the... Uh, on screen. This one is Ice Green by the Brownsville series. It is a very pale blue greenish tone. I'm going to add a little bit of this. The Brownsville 
design pencil is softer than the erogatum, so it is easier to get the color out. It's just a touch. And I have to be careful because I can feel that the paper is already starting to lose fibers. There are fibers coming off. The same thing happened uh, when I was coloring that beautiful door in this uh, book. So that is a sign that um, this paper cannot handle a lot more layers. I'm now going to use a darker one, deep cobalt green, just to add a touch of color. And this is a polychromos uh, pencil. I was planning on doing some work in our garden, but uh, you know, with the frost, the grounds are frozen. So I can do, I need to, uh, to do some cutting to trim some plants that have uh, collapsed because of the, uh, the frost. I can take them out, but uh, I would like to do some more work, but that, that has to wait. The busy days of November and early December seem to be over now. We celebrated the um, Sinterklaas feast. We wrote each other poems, funny poems, and um, we gave each other presents. And we also gave each other a thing that is called a surprise. And a surprise is a, I think, typical Dutch tradition that you will make a very creative, original wrapping design in which you can package at least one present. And this year, my brother made the headquarters of Passion for Pencils. He, he's, um, he made a headquarters in New York. I could see uh, the Empire State Building. He had printed it all out, so you could see me in the, in the office drawing within the background, a huge window with the a view on the Empire State Building. There's somebody working in the garden. I, maybe you can hear it. It's a bit noisy. Well, okay, I'm going to add a little bit more color over here. I'm going uh, for this one, opal green, again erogiton, just to bring a touch of color to this leaf. It is very faint, but it is exactly what I was looking for. So yes, my brother uh, made me a surprise of a uh, of the Passion for Pencils headquarters in uh, New York. It reminded me of the Trump Tower, I have to say. So, well, maybe if uh, if I keep going, then I can uh, buy that uh, Trump Tower. 
and turn it into a coloring imperium. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I have no idea what a uh, skyscraper would cost. I am not so sure if that, uh, if New York is the most inspiring place for me to do coloring, but uh, who knows. I would like to visit that, that city uh, one day. I've never been there. And I'm sure we will, and my husband and I will uh, visit it one day. I think it's uh, it seems to be a very unique city. And I'd love to see Central Park in autumn. Here's the deep cobalt green again. Well, that looks better already. Now let's go to the white flowers over here. First of all, I will put a little bit of yellow in these dots. Many months ago, I knew the word for these dots. Now I lost it. I forgot. Well, something, something like stampers, stamps. Well, whatever. Okay, there are more dots. Let's. Oh, by the way, I am using cadmium yellow from the Polychroma series. It is um, not a very light yellow. It's, uh, it's a powerful yellow. Well, let's do the other ones as well. So with this uh, Sinterklaas Surpresa package came some uh, very nice presents. We don't buy huge presents in our family for Sinterklaas. And uh, this year I uh, received a bird feeder. I received napkins, I received a wonderful um, gift card for my favorite art shop in Rotterdam, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, let's do some living on the edge. Medium brown grey from the Brownsville series. And I'm going to use this color in these flowers, just to give it a little bit of texture. There was another very funny present. The whole family got a Christmas jumper. Oh dear. So on Christmas we will be celebrating not in our most finest and uh, most expensive wardrobe. No, we will be wearing a Christmas jumper. My husband got one with bells on it. So when he moves, you will hear the, hear the bells. Oh goodness. That is so funny.
I also received three new pencils from the Karandash Luminance series. So happy with them. Okay, it looks a bit sketchy, but I think I this this will work out eventually. Really happy with this. And I'm going to try something else as well. As you can see, I did some testing. This is a light ochre and this is this color, cadmium orange. I think this is the best one, the cadmium orange. Just a light touch. And I'm going to do another set of flowers, this time with light phthalo blue from Polychromos. It's a bit of living on the edge. Let's see what happens if I turn these flowers into tiny blue. I love the flowers. I think you call them forget-me-nots. At least that is how we call them, forget me not. And I believe I've seen that in English somewhere. I think these uh, blue flowers need a little bit more power, so I'm going for a darker tone, phthalo blue, and I'm not coloring the complete leaf, uh, the complete petals darker, just a touch here and there. This is interesting because now that I am adding a little bit more darkness to these blue flowers, I suddenly see that we need another, an even darker tone. Now the question is, should it be a warm blue or a cooler blue? Let's see. This is just testing. The color that I'm using right now is quite 
warm warm yes in dendrine blue also polychromos I'm I'm not so sure about uh, something else need to happen to these flowers I'm not sure what so I will leave it I will leave them alone <laughs> and then uh, most of the time um, the drawing will eventually tell me what is wrong and what needs to be changed so I will just give this uh, some time and then I will later get back to come back to these flowers with a fresh look and then everything will uh, fall in line I'm quite convinced about that Okay, as you can see I did a little bit of testing and this is a Prussian blue from the Brownsville series and in this particular area I can also feel that the paper is uh, about to wear down that is a good sign because that means that I will be forced to uh, to finish this um, page in the near future here is Seth Taylor Blue because I cannot add many more layers on top of each other because that would eventually damage the paper I can clearly feel that it is becoming more difficult. This is Brownsville Royal Blue, and Brownsville has already proven to be uh, a perfect match to this uh, the paper type in my Dutch Secret Garden.
this uh, really takes um, concentration because I really do not want to damage the paper. Here is the light Taylor Blue again. Now the question is, will I be able to finish this page before the end of the year? Maybe I am, maybe I am not. But feeling this paper at this moment, I think The chances are that I will finish this before the end of the year because there is not so much that I can uh, add. Now you may have a completely different type of paper in your copy so for you things may be different. But it looks like this is um, I have to say I'm looking forward to finishing this uh, page. It's a lovely, lovely page and I enjoy every moment, every stroke on paper. But it is becoming a struggle right now. It's difficult to get the right touch. So this is what the page looks right right now. And, um, well, I hope I will be able to uh, continue this one uh, pretty soon and then uh, I hope that you will join me again in this uh, joyful activity. I still love coloring, just love it. So I hope uh, that you will join me next time uh, again and uh, bye bye.